by 1967, the groups that would have been on a I want to kill King list would have been the traditional suspects, the Ku Klux Klan, the white supremacist groups, the American Nazi party, groups that actually are willing to go to violence. But also you have what I call the nonviolent encouragers of hatred and violence. You have the George Wallaces running for the presidency. And you certainly had, we now know from the documents released by the FBI, an FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, who had a pathological hatred of Martin Luther King, so much so that he directed his own agents to break the law repeatedly in going after King and taping King and having illegal surveillance on King. Hoover did not like black people, period. He sympathized with the anti-civil rights people in the South. He was underhanded, he would destroy people, and uh, he, he clearly, clearly tried to destroy Martin. Hoover had his agents compiling all sorts of reports about his movements and his extracurricular activities. He tried to prove that King was influenced by communists. As a, an FBI agent said, it became a mission for a vendetta to destroy King. And he pursued that for a whole decade. 